Hi all, welcome to my channel on basic mathematics and in this tutorial we are going to look at the determinant. A determinant is a numerical value which is associated with a matrix. So first of all, uh, let's look at this matrix that is A equals M11, M12, M21 and M22. If I'm going to find the determinant of this one, this is referred to as debt A or you can have this absolute value mark within that you write the A or you can have the absolute value mark and within that you write the entire matrix. These are three different ways of representing the determinant of the matrix A. And for a 2 by 2 matrix, that determinant is equal to the multiplication of the terms in the principal diagonal, that is M11 into M22 minus the multiplication of the elements in the sub diagonal, that is M21 and M12. So this is how you can find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. Now let's uh, look at an example for a 2 by 2 matrix. Now we have this matrix B equals 3, 2, minus 1, 1. And as I told you earlier, we take the multiplication of the principal diagonals, 3 into 1, and you deduct the multiplication of the sub diagonal, that is minus 1 into 2. And then you will get 3 uh, minus minus will become plus, plus 2. And then finally, the determinant of this matrix is equal to 5. Next, we will look at a 3 by 3 matrix and how to find the determinant of that one. So, when you are going to look at a 3 by 3 matrix, there is a certain sign convention that you have to look into. So, this is the sign convention that is given. So, in that case, the first element is plus, second element is minus and plus. So, likewise, you have to use this sign convention when you are going to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. So, we will look at an example. So, in this example, we have the C matrix, 2 my 3 or minus 4 minus 2 1 4 minus 5 2 minus 1 so in order to find the determinant of the of a 3 by 3 matrix we can select any row or any column so that means you can take the first row you can take the second row you can take the third row or you can take the first column second column or third column likewise it doesn't matter which uh, row or column you take but you will get the same answer all the time uh, to illustrate that we will look at two different ways so first of all we'll take the first row if i take the first row i have 2 3 and minus 4 so what i will do is i will take the first element of the first row that is 1 1 element when i take this 1 1 element you can see that the first row and the first column are associated with it so i will remove or disregard the first row or and the first column and then I am left with this part. So I am going to find the determinant of this part that is 1, 4, 2, minus 1. And then I will go to the second value that is 1, 2 element and remember with this sign convention the second location or 1, 2 location is a heavy, it's in a negative value therefore we have to put this negative value here this minus 1 comes from that and then 3 that is the value in that location into uh, as we have done earlier we remove the row that is the first row and we remove the column that is the second column associated with this number then you are left with four numbers that is minus 2 and 4 minus 5 and minus 1 and we find the determinant of that and next we will go to the third value in the third value it's minus 4 and according to the sign convention also sign is plus therefore this minus 4 will remain as it is minus 4 into then we remove the first row which which is uh, containing the minus 4 and the uh, second third column which contains a minus 4 and then you are left with minus 1 mi minus 2 1 and minus 5 2 so you have these uh, four terms and we have to find the determinant of that one so when you do that you have 2 multiplied by 1 into minus 1 and minus 2 into 4. That's the uh, uh, principal diagonal minus the sub diagonal. That's the same way we have done for a 2 by 2 matrix. And then we have this minus 1 into 3 is minus 3. That will be multiplied by minus 2 into minus 1 principal diagonal minus minus 5 into 4 the sub diagonal. And then uh, you have to have a plus value here. Uh, Okay, no, no, minus 24, that's fine. And then you get this minus 4 multiplied by principal diagonal is minus 2 into 2 minus minus 5 into 1. So this is the multiplication you are getting. And then you can simplify t two times. 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. 2 into 4 is minus 8. Minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 again. And then uh, minus 2 into minus 1 is plus 2. Minus 5 into 4 is plus 20. And then you have this minus 4 into uh, minus 2 into 2 is minus 4, minus 5 into 1 is plus, minus 1 and you deduct it will become plus 5. 
So you can simplify again. 2 into minus 1, one mi minus 1 minus 8 is minus 1, and 2 plus 20 is 22, that is minus, th minus 3 into 22, and minus 4 plus 5 is plus 1, and then it is minus 4 into plus 1. Then you will get minus 18 from here, minus 66 from here, and minus 4 from here. And once you add them all together, you will get minus 88. So this is the determinant of the C matrix when you when you try to when you calculate it using the first row. Now we will use the same example, but we will use a different row or a column. So in this case, we are going to use the second column. That is this one, 3, 1, and 2. So as I told you earlier, uh, you start with the uh, calculation. First of all, you take the third value and then you can see that from the sign convention, the value associated with this one is minus. So then you have this minus 1 multiplied by 3 into the determinant of, uh, you remove this row, you remove this column, you get minus 2, 4, minus 5 and minus 1. And then you have plus 1 and the sign convention here is also plus. That multiplied with, you remove the second row and second column, you are left with 2 minus 4, minus 5 and minus 1. And plus, uh, this minus comes from the sign convention. If you can remember, in this location, you have a minus. Therefore, we take that one into 2 into the determinant of, uh, to get the determinant, to remove the last row and the second column, you are, you are left with 2 minus 4, minus 2 and 4. And then you can do the simplification in this manner. This minus 1 into 3 is minus 3, minus 2 into minus 1 is this one, and uh, deduct minus 5 into 4, and plus 1 times 2 into minus 1, and minus 5 into minus 4, plus minus, my two, minus 1 into 2 will be minus 2, 2 into 4, minus minus 2 into minus 1. So this is how you can expand it. Once you expand it, you will get, this is going to be plus uh, 2 plus 20, minus 2 minus 20 and this is plus 8 minus 8 that is going to become 0. So here you are getting minus 3 into 22 that will become minus 66 and then you will get minus 22 from here and then from this part you will get 0. So here you will get six, minus 66 minus 22 that is also minus 88. So you can see that whatever row or whatever column we use you will get the same answer for the determinant of a matrix.